Hey everyone, I wanted to quickly show you guys. Uh, this is the quick look at the Zag uh, Keys key cover uh, keyboard. This is for the iPad Air. Uh, it's a very nice keyboard. Uh, Zag makes some really nice type of keyboards. They they should you know kind of make more keyboards for more devices. But since the iPad is more popular, I see they're doing these. This has got the multi-angle view, uh, the backlit keys, and it's ultra slim. And it's got the reading uh, mode, which essentially makes uh, the back keyboard flip back. And you'll have the iPad up in the front to read if you wanted to. But just uh, just kind of quickly what it looks like. If you have your iPad Air, the cover, and this is what it's supposed to look like. So let's take a quick look. Um, it is they claim to be the slim uh, type. It does come in uh, white, and uh, this is the black version. So... Um, if you have a white iPad, you can pick up that white one. Let's, let's take a quick look and see. Uh, there's not pretty much nothing to it. As you can see, you don't get much uh, quick instructions here. Uh, yeah. That's probably a little. Oh, these have uh, so you can add the little little feet on the bottom of your keyboard here, so you can put these on here, keep it from sliding. Uh, I'll wait up and there. We'll we'll take a look, and then you get that charging cable, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it looks to be like a short uh, charging cable. As you go, oh, actually, no, it's pretty long. It's it's like a fairly good size, as you can see. So that's good because uh, I don't like these short cables when you get short cables. So let's look at this uh, keyboard. See what you ex can expect. Uh, it's a uh, very solidly. Uh, it's got a solid feel. Let me focus this down here a little bit for you guys. Uh, it's solid feel on it. Um, the keys uh, don't uh, bounce back too much at all. Actually, it's got a good bounce to it. So that's good. Uh, sorry, not a good bounce, but a good solid uh, reflex on it. As you can see here, let's take a quick look here. Hopefully, I can catch that on the video. As you push the keys in, they respond very quickly. Uh, it's very nice. It doesn't have that, you know, how some have that sluggish bounce or even if you push this on hard. Since this is very hard plastic, it doesn't flex here. I don't like keyboards that flex when you're typing. Like, if you go like this and it flexes down. So overall, you got a nice layout of the chiclet keyboard here. Uh, it's kind of like a little island keyboard here. You can see all the shortcuts up above here for your iPad. You got your alt your battery charger status here when it's charging. Uh, caps lock. The shift keys are not too full size, but I, I this is a good size. They're not small at all. Pretty good size because uh, sometimes you get these smaller keyboards and these shift keys, uh, they tend, tend to shrink these down. Yeah, uh, And this is a backlit keyboard, which is I like very nice. Uh, there's for the backlit key. Uh, other than that, it's got a little grommet here on each end, so when you fold down your iPad, this helps protect it so it won't uh, uh, hit the keys here or damage your iPad. And as you can see, they've got the, I like this design here. It's kind of like a, if you're familiar with the Transformer and uh, the Samsung Mativ 700 series and the 500 series, their keyboards had this kind of like a little. Uh, Kind of like a see like a like a U, where you know it it just slides in, which is it, that's what I kind of like. I'm just trying to bend it there for you guys can see. As you put the uh, iPad in there, it you know folds back and forth, and this supposed to go pretty much all the way back. Uh, I don't know how that would go, but as you can see, it, it moves around. So this gives you good angles. So when you're typing, you can fold it at whatever angle is comfortable for you. That's what I like about this. Overall, here's the side. Uh, again, this is all plastic. The keys are plastic, but they're not that bad quality. It's pretty good quality. Uh, here you have, uh, pretty sure this is your pairing. You're on and off for the actually for the backlight i think yeah there you go as you can see i believe you can change the colors on this uh yes looks like you can so uh maybe i'll pause it and take a look at the instructions how to change the colors on those for you guys so give you kind of options here so that turns off the light that's probably the pairing here's a micro usb charger port here on the corner there as you can see this has got a little tray here and inside here as you can see th this is actually hopefully you can catch it uh, it's rubber in here 
so that'll help protect your iPad from getting scratched. They added a little piece of rubber inside as well, as well in there, pasted on there. So I don't see that coming out. And then you have the, this is actually, let me see. This is actually aluminum. This track right here is aluminum. So then it's wrapped inside with plastic. And again, then you have inside here on this in front, these little uh, kind of spacers that once you put your iPad, it kind of re will retract back in so it can support it as you can see in and out um on the right and left side there's nothing here in the front again there's nothing it's got a little groove here so when you want to pull up your ipad so basically it'll like turn into a uh, like a mini little my uh netbook kind of laptop so if you want to do a lot of typing so the back again there's nothing here uh it's got for your little grommets that we'll have to put an add on there to keep from sliding and as you can see this is, does have like uh these little let me see let me fold this back this way this is actually rubberized so this will actually help from uh when you have it open and you have the tablet that keep it from sliding and then w once you get those uh grommets here they're like rubberized i'll help it from sliding even there it kind of gives it a grip I don't know if you can catch that on the video when it's lifted on this angle here. Let me see if I can focus that for you guys. Uh, as you can see, when it's folded there, this becomes uh, hitting the surface wherever you have it. So that'll help it uh, from sliding back and forth. So that's very nice. Um, the other reason I, I did buy this, I purchased this... Uh, uh, more likely is I'm gonna be testing this out with my Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 10.1 2014 edition. They don't have any really good uh, keyboards for it, so um, I just kind of decided I wanted to get something. I know it's not made for this, but uh, oops, let's go ahead and see. We'll close that out. It it's actually slides in there very nicely, but. Um, I'm not going to be using um, more, uh, it's kind of more of a, let me see if I can get this on here. Yeah, I, I can't reach the button here, but. So it kind of, this little button here, it's going to hit here. So, okay, this is an update I have. Uh, I know earlier I had been showing you that when you try to put the, Galaxy Notes to slide in there <clears throat> the button here the home button would uh, kind of trigger when you slide in here And I'll show you the reason what I did uh, Let me see if I'll zoom this in here real quick for you guys. Hopefully that'll show up on the video I'll try to keep it on the light here Let me see I'll raise this up here. What I've done is you can see here. This is uh, Since this is made for the iPad like I mentioned this has like a little uh, kind of plastic that sticks up and that's what was causing to hit on the Galaxy Note. So what I did is I, I got a little razor blade and trimmed it off. So as you can see now there is no uh, tip in there. So it kind of doesn't get in the way any longer. Uh, still I'll be able to push it down but at least it doesn't um, give you that uh, when it pushes down in the button there so you can see there so I'll show you guys real quick what I mean uh, now that I've shaved that off a little bit let me get that down here for you guys try to make this as quick as possible for you guys so now when I uh, get the note I can actually so I'll turn it on so you guys can see that it doesn't hit anything so now uh, as you can see I got this straight up here there you go so now i can slide this in here pretty much you know just kind of push it down it does uh slide a little bit but let me i'll turn that on for you guys so you guys can see and then um see now it's even though it's pushed in all the kind of not all the way but it's actually down in there let me see if i can get that on the video so you guys can see i don't know if i'll show up there um oops i hit this button here um you can see that right here let me get that on there so now it's kind of clears it uh because it doesn't have that little plastic kind of sticking out and hitting the home key you might sometimes have to keep it up a little bit but it actually works much better there as you can see uh you're able to twist not twist uh 
go back and forth a little bit better. When you go forward, as you can see, it does hit that button, and it kind of you can see it has the home key. But um, overall, it's still nice and sturdy, so you can see you put it in there. And again, the other nice thing I like about this is again, I want to pull it out. If I put this upside down, um, everything works really nice. And I like when I have it upside down. The reason I like this upside down at times is because the USB is up here. So, I, you know, since I can use, I got a, a USB, a micro USB there. And I can put my um, USB flash drives to transfer files back and forth. So that's nice. And also to be able to charge it. But if I don't want to uh, do that... I just have to put it this way, the normal way. I line, kind of line this up. And again, since this is kind of pretty close to the iPad, it works pretty nice. As you can see, you can go in and out, close it up, as you can see there. And then I can open it up. I just kind of put a little bit of pressure on there, but it works. And um, so it's got some quick, you know, I'll show you quickly. I can do the quick uh, command C, and you can uh, tab, or you can... Uh, click on things what's the weather for tomorrow oh hi galaxy what's the weather in New York so so you can you know go back and forth and things like that um, taking a little bit of time but as you can just you know hit the tab just kind of hit tab till you go to what you want to open and it goes back and forth. You want to go to uh, the Play Store. There you go. Or if you want to go to the home, that also brings it to the home here. And another thing is the, the microphone. Since again, this is the iPad keyboard, uh, I've noticed that you can also, uh, gives you what you had open previously. You can use the button here the arrow buttons here to go up in our sideways and then once you get to the one you want to open like for example let's go to uh, settings you hit enter and it goes there to settings go back out uh, these other ones here the the music does work uh, you can see the volume Kona, we are getting as you can see with a slew of new creative paused goes to the next one so so that those those do work uh, you can mute it as you can see there with the mute button these other ones the function of course the the light of keyboard and the color changing all, all that works uh, the the web page button here opens up Google now which is nice so you know at least you got a shortcut for that uh, these other ones uh, you got some control I haven't tested many other ones, but it seems like all the other ones don't really do much. Uh, I haven't tried doing a command. Uh, the, the commands back arrow again opens up. Uh, I think that opens up. Yeah, it opens up like kind of like the search button. So you can do searching for your uh, items and your uh, contacts or what's in your tablet here. So overall, again, this is a nice keyboard. So let's go back to the continue of the review. So again, this is just an update to what I've done here. Uh, works great. Uh, you can also, this lock, the lock button also shuts it off. So that's nice. You can also click it on to turn it back on. So that's good. So let's take a continue back on the other one. You can do, if you do decide to, you know, you just want to, you can actually put it upside down here. So that kind of, it does work that way. As you can see, the edges and stuff, and, and the iPad and the Galaxy Note 10.1 uh, 2014 edition, the Note, the Air was made pretty much almost exactly like the, the Note here. They're off by, uh, I believe, millimeters. Uh, so, you know, once I push that in, so I, I can actually type here, be able to uh, tilt it. Uh, like I said, I wish Zab would have designed one just especially for this. It's not so much, uh, I just want to kind of just for typing. But if you guys were interested, uh, as you can see here, it's just out a little bit. And it does kind of slide out because it doesn't slide in all the way completely. I'll show you guys. See how it, the, the note is uh, 0.30 
millimeters thick and the iPad I believe is 0.29 so as you can see it doesn't kind of go all the way down but if you're just going to use it for like typing and you just want to have something you can kind of just kind of manually just go like this and just you know carry your note around but you know I'm not going to be carrying this around like this in my note uh, more I just when I'm at a desk or out and about that I need to type there's those times I do need to type in uh, quite a bit so this actually will help uh, typing so let me see if I can go ahead and pair this up I'll put the Bluetooth on here um, and then we'll go ahead and push the okay I'm back here uh, yeah what I actually what I felt forgot to turn is you have to turn that keyboard on you slide that on and then uh, push then you push the parry button so you can see it starts to flash here on this end hopefully you guys can see that over here on the caps lock that means it's in parry mode so I'm gonna see if I'll actually pick this up it should it should be able to pick it up because this uh, Bluetooth keyboard is pretty much basically a Bluetooth keyboard as you can see here it um, pops up here um, again the keys are not gonna be specifically made for Android these are more for uh, uh, iOS so I'm gonna have to kind of figure out if I'm gonna use this to see uh, this works as home key as you can see that so th that's good to know uh, let's see if the volume the volume works you know good for it uh, Vals play music music uh, works good as you can see pause it play it pause uh, let's let's go ahead and um, let me go ahead and open up a I'll hit the back key here these are probably undo key so it's not doing nothing so far at this moment let's hit the microphone here key uh, the mic actually gives you the last uh, applications you had open which is nice uh, this actually works the lock button let's click it again it it does work so that's nice so you still have to slide it but it does turn it off or actually locks your tablet here uh, that's nice to know and keyboard uh, that's to paste uh, that's it looks like it's working there that gives you actually your contacts I just noticed that so that actually is a context shortcut so you're gonna have to remember these kind of things uh, this is actually your search button which is nice uh, at least you can have the search working for you let's go back or oh, let's let me try this thing research let me see if it'll go back actually that goes to uh, uh, back to the last one you had so put some Z's on there so again let's go back here uh, control the alt option command those are not doing much again this is the light feature there that looks like the internet uh, icon just goes basically to uh, again to search so that's two searches uh, let's try to do a let me see let me try this uh, this you can the up and arrows buttons if you can see it does follow it so enter so it does work on that I'm just trying actually I have re I have reset the the galaxy note I was doing some other things on it so I don't have much on it so oh, it looks like let me see this one oh that was pretty intense there as you can see this one uh let, let me dim down the light a little bit here for you guys and uh and this one has got as you can see the light on the keyboard that's one setting another setting and another setting it was pretty nice uh this one goes around but let me uh i believe this again it's got the co different colors for the keyboard let me check to see uh power charges uh, maybe it doesn't I, I thought it might would have different color back keys I'll pause it one more time for you guys and take a quick okay, reading on this back here yeah it looks like uh, I was almost getting it okay so you have the backlit keys here so what you have to do is just hold down this button and as you can see then this changes the colors pretty nif pretty nifty you got the blues colors 
red that looks pretty nice uh I, that's kind of like a green color darker green so very cool if you guys are you know kind of looking for a keyboard for your note and you you know you don't want to actually use it i mean not use not that, that not use it but uh don't want to actually use it as a cover case uh this actually will work as you can see you can still pretty much you know you got it's you're able to tilt with no problems as you can see i like this uh because you know it just kind of turns into a little small keyboard and you, you know i can type it away um and just basically you know use that for that so uh just thought i'd show you guys i'll give it a test i do like it um i wish that zag would actually make an official one for the galaxy note uh once turns it off cycles through it and again this is a little it is a little bit heavier and the reason is because it has to have the weight to keep it from flipping back so you you know you gotta expect you are gonna get some weight to it it's gonna make your ipad air or anything you put on here that much heavier i would say this probably weighs about mm, maybe a good 10 ounces 12 ounces maybe uh, we can take down the specs. I don't know if it's on here, but uh, you can probably go online and check them out. So that's a quick look at the Zag Keys cover. Uh, it's for the iPad Air, uh, but you can. It looks like you can use it for your iPad, or sorry, for your Galaxy Note uh, 10.1, the 2014 edition. Thanks for watching.